Hey guys, uh, Moto Joey. Um, yeah, riding day number 10. I'm in LE, Nevada, which is not that far over the border. Time zones changed. Um, I'm 3,499 kilometers in. So after today, I'll be averaging around about 370 kilometers a day. I'm riding to Tunapa, which is just the east side of the Sierra. Uh, yeah, I absolutely slept amazing last night. After the, the rain and that, I was absolutely exhausted. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, like I said, so get, get to the east side of uh, the Sierras today and then go through Yosemite uh, tomorrow and then on to San Jose, which I've sorted out tyres. I should be getting them Sunday or Monday, probably Monday. I'll, I'll put new tyres on. Um... Shout out to Brian Drews, who's coming with me from San Diego down to California Baja. He's also bringing his brother, as I found out yesterday. That's friggin' awesome. Anybody else that wants to join me, yeah, if you want to go for it anytime, you're welcome. Um, there was a thing that I was thinking about. You get a lot of time on the on the uh, on the bike to think, and I was thinking about a time on a plane when I first had this idea to ride around the world. It was originally it was just riding North America. And I remember speaking to a guy who was a motorbike rider next to me on the plane. And um, he was just like, oh, so you're inexperienced. I'm like, yeah. And he's just like, yeah, I wouldn't even attempt it. it just, it's just a story that I remember thinking about yesterday. And I'm thinking, what a dick. Um, guy's an absolute dickhead. So there's this thing that I keep on repeating to people. And it's not just some bullshit saying about starting. And starting's the hardest point. It is. Um, this is the easy bit. Riding's the easy bit. Having the courage to start, not that I've done anything amazing yet, I've only done three and a half thousand kilometers, but having the courage to start is the hardest bit. If you can get over that, anyone can do it. Anyone can do this. I'm telling you now, I've never even really gotten on a bike, on a road bike, on the road, outside of doing my learners and my provisional test. So you can absolutely do it. Um, when I actually finally upload these, if you want any... I was helped a little bit along the line. I rode off to Ichi Boots. This is a girl that's doing the world tour at the moment. She actually responded. I didn't think she would. Thank you. Um, and she just helped me with a few little things. Uh, just sent me a couple of links and that. It's actually really easy to do, especially if you start in the Americas where you don't need a carne de passage. So anybody that wants to email me or message me, um, I'll respond. If you're interested in doing it, I can kind of give you a few tips, even though I don't have too many at the moment, of what to do. But like I said, uh, getting back to the ride, um, I am a bit sore today, because yesterday I, I probably tightened up because of the rain. But uh, I'm going to go see something first. I'm going to go see some charcoal caves, um, some charcoal ovens, which is not too far, about 20 kilometers from here. So, um... Yeah, cool. I'll keep you posted. Like I said, I should be nudging about 4,000 by the end of the day and uh, get down to San Diego. I am actually flying from San Diego to Houston and taking a week break because I'm way ahead of schedule. I thought I was going to do like 500 kilometers the first week. So, um, yeah, I'll be taking a break in like on the 20th of August for a week. Okay, thanks guys.